Welcome back. Well, a real controversial story here. A Chinese researcher is sparking outrage after he claimed that he helped make the first genetically edited babies. The researcher also revealing this morning that a second pregnancy may now be underway. This type of gene editing is banned in America, and as the Associated Press has noted, there is no independent confirmation of the researcher's claim, and it has not been published in a journal where it would be vetted by other experts. Joining us right now to talk more about that is Dr. Mikhail Varsha. Better known as Dr. Mike. Uh, Dr. Mike, good to see you good this morning. Good to see you. Uh, this is really uh, an interesting story, but it's a technology that allows scientists to alter the DNA of living cells, and this guy did it in an embryo. Yeah, uh, Maria, this is a story straight out of a sci-fi novel, because literally what we're doing here is we're deciding what the future generation is going to look like when we do gene editing. There's incredible moral and ethical concerns when it comes to this, and this is why the National Academy of Sciences had tremendous international consensus when they said, if you're going to be doing human trials, you have to be open about it. You have to go under ethics review. You have to tell people what you're doing, and it has to be in a life or death case. Mm. You have diseases like Huntington's disease, um, cystic fibrosis that kill people. So if you're going to be doing trials, do it on that. This gentleman did this trial in secret. His hospital wasn't aware of it. The university wasn't aware of it. He was doing this in total secrecy. And then he did it to prevent, uh, or at least hope to prevent, uh, an infection, a future infection with HIV. This is not life or death because we have treatments for HIV. Yeah. HIV is no longer a killer disease. It's a, it's a chronic illness that we can control with medications. He, he said he altered a gene uh, in embryos for seven couples during their fertility treatments. Can we trust Crazy. that he, he was actually able to do this? I mean, it hasn't been independently reviewed, just how the Associated Press said, but it sounds like it's true. There was also a doctor from the United States, a scientist that was working with him on this, that claimed that this happened. But there's been huge outrage in the scientific community, and rightfully so, because this is unprecedented. Gene editing is going to be the problem of my generation. A lot of people are worried about immigration, economics, but gene editing is the stuff of nightmares. Let's I mean, see. you can literally create biological warfare with this. You can create diseases that are not uh, affected by our current treatments. You can create soldiers with this that can be stronger. Than I mean, the opportunities here are endless and very scary to uh, me. Under right the now. umbrella as if you are actually helping the child. Or and helping. in secrecy. But we don't know how the yeah. person will grow up. All right, let's get to something lighter here. A whole <laughs> the cream past the butter. The latest coffee craze involves adding butter and oil to your morning cup of joe as part of a popular keto diet. Uh, Dr. Mike, tell us about this. Dieters are claiming this helps satisfy their hunger like a meal. I don't really think I want butter in my coffee. <laughs> well, a lot of people claim that it makes them feel fuller, and it probably does because uh, having a drink that has a high amount of fats, they're using what we call MCT oil. It does satiate your hunger hormones, and that is true. Now, this keto diet, it's been a huge trend last year, this year, and it's probably going to continue because what we're finding is that diets that are very low carb actually outperform low fat diets. And that's the big story here because we grew up 20 years ago, 30 years ago talking about how fat is bad and that's the danger uh, to creating heart disease and all of that and what we're finding it's actually simple refined carbohydrates sugars white breads white pastas white rice eating those in large amounts is actually what's going to encourage you to gain weight be unhealthier and increase risks of diabetes i like it disease. i do it my wife does it everyone should you, try you have butter in your coffee yes three times a week at least it's <laughs> delicious You're an animal. yeah wow. well no look there, there are dangers with it do it there, there are some dangers with I it. I live dangerously. Uh, you're like the new James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mike, thank you. Thank you. Great to see you.